What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I want to show you guys a short beginner friendly introduction into VPNs, specifically NordVPN. Now, if you're not familiar with VPNs or you're just new in general, now what a VPN does is that it routes your connection through a server so that it makes you look like you're in that uh, location. So if I were to pick Switzerland, for example, now my connection or my internet will interpret as if I'm in Switzerland myself. So if I were to go to any IP finder website, it'll say that I am in Switzerland again, not because I'm physically there, but because my VPN makes it look like I'm there. And that's how you can get access to content that is not available to you using a VPN. And of course, there are other uses for VPNs, such as securing your device on public Wi-Fi, bypassing geo restrictions to get access to all kinds of content, whether streaming or non streaming protecting your IP address while you're torrenting, or just general security and uh, online anonymity. Now, the way to use NordVPN is actually very simple. I'm just going to turn it off here. As you can tell, I did turn it on by simply clicking on one of the dots, uh, and it's as simple as that. And you don't have to use the map. You can just use the search bar right here or just go through the list. You do have a few specialty servers, which can be very useful depending on what you're looking for, but I'll just keep it basic. Again, all you need to do is just download and install this VPN. You can use the links below, by the way, if you want to save a little bit more cash on the two year plan uh, before getting your subscription. And once you've downloaded and installed the VPN again, you have access to this entire interface. And it's as simple as let's say you want to get access to a specific service that's only available in the States, you click on a state server, and you are good to go. Now you don't want to just use the VPN and ignore all the other features, you want to understand all the other features, so that you can make the best of your VPN. So the first feature, which is actually sort of a bonus feature that doesn't necessarily come with VPNs usually is threat protection, which acts like a little bit of a mini antivirus as well as an ad and malware blocker. You have MeshNet, which is actually free for everybody, even if you don't have NordVPN, you can just download the VPN application from Nord and you'll still have access to MeshNet, but it is encrypted remote access over the secure network of NordVPN. Then you have Dark Web Monitor, which will keep an eye out for leaked data that's linked to your personal information. You've got over 5,007 to 800 servers in 60 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. If you go to the settings here, you'll notice you have a few options. Now, the main features that you want to make sure you know of are the uh, well type of protocol that you want to use. You can keep it on automatic if you don't want to ever kind of mess with the settings again. But NordLynx is going to be the fastest one. You can set up your trusted networks here and a couple of other features here regarding launching and whatnot. And you have custom some DNS for an easy way to change your DNS. That's just one way to do it. You have the kill switch, which will cut your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, it will disconnect you from the internet to prevent any potential leaks. And the app kill switch does the same as the kill switch, but with applications rather than the entire connection. So it just closes applications. Split telling will allow to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not, which is a very useful feature if you don't want your entire connection to be affected by the VPN. Uh, and you only want to use the VPN on a handful of applications, selected applications, or vice versa. It's a very useful feature overall. All in all, I would say that NordVPN is the best well-rounded VPN that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price while maintaining very high levels of performance and security. It works with streaming, torrenting, and just general online anonymity and privacy, keeping you secure with a bunch of, again, extra features that can be super useful in your day-to-day -day life. So that is basically it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in Nord or if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it, you'll find a discount code down below in case you end up picking up NordVPN uh, and you'll find a full review. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.